Hello Pisces and welcome to Blunt Sagittario. My name is Robin and today Pisces we're going to talk about the person on your mind. We're going to see what they're thinking and feeling about you, what they're going to do in the next couple weeks and we'll get a few Oracle messages of course as well. So let's talk about the person on your mind. How are they feeling about you Pisces? Show us please the person on Pisces mind, the one they think about the most. How are they feeling about Pisces right now? This current moment. Oh being a little stubborn here. How is the person on Pisces mind feeling about them? There we go. Ah, there, now they got to talk to us. Stay optimistic about your love life. So positive thinking will bring you romance. Let, control, let go of control issues. So allow the situation to unfold naturally and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this person's trying not to get ahead of themselves, Pisces, and they're trying to, um, they want to get to know you. So they're feeling pretty good about you. Let's see. Talk to us about the person on Pisces' mind. How are they feeling about Pisces? What are they going to do about it? Talk to us. And Pisces, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So we have Judgment, the King of Wands in Reverse, the Nine of Wands in Reverse, the Three of Cups in Reverse, the Lovers in Reverse, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Let's see what this is all about. On the bottom of the deck, Death in Rebirth in Reverse. So um, let's get into this. This could be resurrecting something, wanting to resurrect, and this could be being stubborn and being resistant to a connection. Let's see what's going on. That could be stubborn and resistant to anything that's underneath it. The Six of Cups. The King of Swords. So they're, um, your person is looking, at, your person's evaluating a lot here. They feel like they're really looking in the mirror. Judgment and the lover. So this is about a life-changing choice. Your person, the person on your mind, Pisces, when they're thinking about you, they're thinking about life-changing choices here. Um, they've made their choice in the near future. We'll get into that. But they're looking in the mirror, really trying to figure out what is the best, what they want to do. Um, with the King of Wands, they, I feel like your person may like to be, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but they, um, it, <laughs> or this could be, um, yeah, they are trying not to be over controlling here. So your person might like to be in control, be in charge. They may be a real alpha, alpha type person and they're trying not to, because I think this is kind of out of their control. Their walls are down, their guards dropped. You broke down some barriers here. You broke down some walls with this person. I do feel like I'm getting like a very guarded energy from this person. This person does not open up their heart easily, Pisces. Um, especially here with this Eight of Swords. They don't. You have a very guarded person. There's the Nine of Wands. But it, 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 what else do you want to say about this person? <laughs> You're really making this person look at themselves. They're the King of Pentacles. They might have be looking at themselves and thinking how selfish they've been. How maybe they haven't treated you. The, I don't know what the history is. That's just what popped in my head. They haven't treated you the best, I guess. Um, but they're really looking at themselves. Like the judgment, the sun in reverse, king of pentacles in reverse. Because the thing is they see happiness and they see potential with you. I don't think this is a, a real relationshipy type person, Pisces. But in the near future, um, they're making the choice um, here to drop... Like with the three of cups in reverse, the lovers, they're making the choice to drop options. They're stressed. They're, they've got these walls up. They've got these guards up. They're going to jump into this blind and they're coming to talk to you. So no matter how resistant they are, they're, they're ending any other options here. And they want to come to you because they feel a really strong soul connection here. And I think this is really struggling for this person. And I feel like they don't want to take it. Um, they don't want to go too fast, but they want to get to know you. They really want to get to know you, like the person inside of you, right? Not just the physical aspect of Pisces. <laughs> uh, what do you want to say about this page of pentacles? What does this offer? There it is again. There it is again. You don't see this coming. This person is going to come in the next couple weeks, wherever your situation is at, and they're going to tell you, no more third parties, let's do this. And you're going to be like, WTF, what the fuck? <laughs> I think it's going to be totally unexpected. Well, the three of wands in reverse is telling me that it's going to be unexpected, that they want to drop. They want to be in a relationship. They want to plant their seeds with you. Um, this is the, in the, this is the page of pentacles, but the page of pentacles is offering you the ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is the seed. It's planting the seed. They want to grow. They want a stable life with you. They want to build with you. They see a strong soul connection here. Um, and you don't really see that coming because I think I'm, I'm thinking it might be fairly early in your partnership, which is why this card is here. So this person's trying to, 
they don't want to dominate you. I don't know how else to tell you. You got yourself a very alpha type character. They're coming up as the King of Wands in reverse. They don't want to do that with you. They really feel a connection here. So let's get a few Oracle messages and we'll find out where this is in a month. How you react to this Page of Pentacles. How you react to them telling you they want you and only you. Let's see. But first, let's get some messages, Pisces. <laughs> so the Karen connection, what do you want to say? Receptive. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. <laughs> right? Um, so you got a little something, something coming down and you don't even know it. And what is this person not saying to Pisces that they want to say? Or what are they not saying that the universe wants Pisces to know? Show us. Oh, crap. No one's flying over there. I don't even know where that went. Hold on a second. Got your card's flying. I feel like this person... Um, Maybe very secretive. Maybe you think find you secretive. I don't know why I'm saying that. Okay, so this is a card that flew over here. Just being near you is intoxicating. So they like just being around you. They like your energy, your aura. Like I said, they feel a very strong connection. They feel at home with you. I, I don't. I know that sounds weird, but um, that's what I feel. Especially with the six of cups and with them saying that. Um, yeah, they like that. They drinking that wine, baby, <laughs> or that nectar, I guess. <laughs> okay, energy oracle message. What do you want to say? Pisces. Contract in reverse, hostilities in reverse, and community in reverse. It's basically the three of cups. So if there have been tension or hostilities or really strong guards, or this person wasn't opening up, but this person has accepted. I feel like they were very resistant. Like I said, I don't think this is like a relation. If you ask this person, how long has it been since you've had a girlfriend or a boyfriend? They might not even want to tell you how long it's been. <laughs> I don't feel like they're uh, one who engages too easily here, uh, but they're realizing that this is different and they're going to drop their guard here and they're going to drop these other people because they're ready to be with just you here, Pisces. They're ready to go all in with you. And I think that's going to surprise you quite a bit, actually. Um, so let's get your potential outcome. Well, let's see how you feel about this. So your potential outcome, because they say potential, there's always free will. You're going to do what you're going to do and so are they. An outcome, but where are you in a month? So we know in a couple of weeks, this person's coming to tell you they want to be with you and only you. Want to cut out any other options? How do you feel about this? Where's Pisces? What does Pisces say to this? Where are they in a month from now? Pisces and the person on Pisces' mind. Talk to us. Four Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. Is the suspense killing you? <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, the Hanged Man in reverse. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. King of Cups in reverse and the two of cups you are um you take time to think about this you don't just jump right in and be like yeah let's do this um no you take the time to think about this you take a few moments but ultimately your perception you do accept this okay so the page of pentacles there's them with the two of cups your feelings are emotion you have an emotional connection to this person and i feel with the king of cups it's like i feel like you're in a similar energy of this person like they're coming up as you might be two alphas um male female doesn't matter but we have a king of cups in reverse and the king of wands in reverse so i feel like you're both struggling with the feelings that you have for each other maybe both of you have been a while since you've committed to someone or found someone that even made you want to consider committing to but whatever that is for you they've changed your perspective here you accept their offer see how she's holding that cup you take that offer things are moving in a good direction this is the wheel of fortune and it's upright so divine timing was at play here um both of you had to wait for each other but you waited they were a little resistant, but um, ultimately you're in a good partnership. You're in a good place with this person with the two of cups in the wheel. In a month from now, you're in a committed relationship with this person. You accept their page or their pentacle. <laughs> you, you guys are planting seeds and you're moving forward together, just the two of you. Um, so that's what I have, Pisces. I hope you enjoy your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it benefits you. Um, if it does, please like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate the support. It helps my channel to grow. Let's get your final message to close this off. And there it is. Self-love is an ocean and your heart is a vessel. Make it full and any excess will spill over into the lives of the people you hold dear. But you must come first. That's that four swords energy. So recite these words in your hearts. I am worthy of all the good things in my life. This person thinks you're amazing and they're coming to get you. Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.